sick, oh, eh? Oh yeah, that's very, very cool. So wait, have you flown a drone before? This is my second time. Ah! <laughs> Do we still have time? Hey! So I did start of the video. In today's video, we're going to be photographing a model, but... But I've got a very special location lined up for this photo shoot. It honestly looks like something from Mars. It's a bit of a trek to get there. So this photo shoot is going to be a challenge. In this video, I'm going to share everything from all the highlights to everything that goes wrong. Because there's always enough that goes wrong on my photo shoots. A very realistic photo shoot. We're going to be photographing a familiar face. If you've seen my latest POV, then you'll recognize our beautiful model Tash. She is unreal in posing. I think I've already rambled enough. I'm way too excited. So let's dive into the video. Hello. Hello. I love your makeup. Thank you. Good How are you going? I'm good. Oh, still cool. Way and stuff. Cool. It's interesting. I reckon we stick with the dress you have on, mm -hmm. yeah. but then maybe bring the brown one. I think we have to climb up the rock. What are you gonna do? I'll just run. It is what it is! We're on top of the world! This is actually such a sick spot. Look at this! That's so sick. Oh my god, it looks epic! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, that's very, very cool. So I feel like when your model goes from pose to pose, like those in-between movements, they're the best. Because they're not as posed, they're just super flowy. So those are my favorite shots. Tash, you were saying like about movement, how like important it is to like be like flowy with your movements. Did it take you like a long time to be able to like learn how to do that? Uh, well, I've been modeling for eight years, so it has taken quite some time. And it's all about just kind of like making sure you're on the whole time. You're not like turning on your face then, you're keeping it throughout your entire moment that you're posing. Yeah. So it means they can get the uh, shots in between as well. It just gives the um, photographer more options basically. So during this photo shoot, I asked Tesh to sort of follow along with the shapes of the rocks and that made her blend in so nicely with the background. Tell me the rocks. I am the rock. I am the rock. <laughs> I am the rocks. <laughs> Hey, excuse me guys, do you guys want to shoot up here? Uh, we'll probably shoot over here, it's okay. Okay, yeah, no worries. I think we find the next spot. Yeah, I think good. we just go around the corner here. Are you fine? <laughs> this is funny because we're so close to the ground. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Oh wait, do we have to get down anyway? Yeah. Are you serious? That was all for nothing. No. What lens are you thinking? For this spot, I'm thinking the 50 mil. The waves are so like extreme now. The cloud is gray. It just looks so dramatic. So I said to Tash, maybe make like really big movements, very dramatic movements, because then it all comes together in the photo. Right there. Come. Hanging in there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, no, I'm bleeding. Oopsies. Oh, you are? Oh, really? Yeah, I must have scraped myself a little. Yeah, don't ever prepare for stuff like this. Like, no, I should have like this HBO uh, second. First aid kit. First, I wanted yes, to say second, second aid kit. Second aid kit. Are we gaming? Are we gaming?
Okay, before we dive into the most stressful part of the video, which is sunset and may or may not crashing my drone, I want to take a moment for today's sponsor, which is... Artlist. Artlist is an all-in-one platform on which you can find music, sound effects, templates, plugins, footage, special effects, literally everything all in one platform. And thanks to Artlist, I can bring my vision to life because imagine if I didn't have music for this video, how boring. <laughs> So our list is filled with what it feels like, an endless amount of music, which makes it for me very easy to choose songs that really enhance the video. Cool thing is, I can even add beach noises in this clip, which makes it seem like we're on the beach, even though we're not, we're in my little office. And something I personally really enjoy is, for example, I type in synthwave, and I'm like, okay, what sort of type of synthwave music do I want? Then I type in exciting, and then I can find exactly the perfect songs that really suit a certain part of the video. So Artlist offers different types of subscriptions for any creator. So if you want to find out more, click the link in my description. Okay, back to the video. Quick, the sun is setting. Oh, you look like a mermaid. So Faye has a, a Mavic Mini, and that's why we're gonna take this drone shot uh, with. But the thing is, it's a little bit windy. Yeah, look how uh, tiny it is, a Mini. It weighs, uh, I believe, 249 grams. Oh. I don't know how it's gonna go with the wind, but DJI are very good with their drones. So wait, have you flown a drone before? This is my second time. Oh, you've got this. I re- <laughs> <laughs> I re- <laughs> I would say I reckon yeah. you lay down here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh god, what does that mean? It means low battery. Ah! <laughs> Do we still have time? Oh. <laughs> oh. I did it! <laughs> it's a wrap. Yeah, yeah, put Good it there, mate. Put it there. Put it there. Lovely working Good with job. you, mate. Lovely working Good with job. you. Good job. <laughs> And that's the end of the photo shoot. I feel like we finished off with a banger, especially because we whipped out the drone. I think it was my second time flying a drone, but I think we did pretty good. If you have some tips for me, feel free to drop them down below. Maybe help someone else out as well. I'm so happy with these photos. They're definitely unlike anything I've shot before and massive thanks to Tash. She is so professional and I feel like sometimes she's just dancing in front of the camera. It's really inspiring to see. When it came down to the editing, this photo shoot was a little bit more challenging to edit, especially because the rocks were orange, but the skin tones are orange as well. So when you adjust the oranges, the skin tones and the rocks change of color. So what I decided to do is select the background and then change the color of the rocks a little bit, just so Tash stands out a little bit more. And then I got rid of some distracting little rocks. And to give these photos a nice crisp finish, I added quite a lot of texture and I brought down the clarity and then I scrolled all the way back down to the sharpness and I sharpened the photo a little bit as well. So those are all the adjustments I did. And then for the color grading of the photo, I used one of my presets and you can find it in the description if you want to try it out alongside all the gear I've used for this photo shoot as well. And that is it. I had a lot of fun during this photo shoot. It was just, I feel like it was mainly rock climbing instead of taking photos, but I hope you enjoyed watching this video too. And I also hope to see you at my next one. Okay, bye-bye. Doei.